Hey everyone, David Hamilton here from socialexpression.net, your social anxiety coach and mentor to help you overcome social anxiety. Today's video is all about being nice. I'm so nice versus being kind. Hey, I'm going to do the right thing. So I like to make this distinction. I cover this in one of the lessons in the Dissolve Social Anxiety Home Recovery Program because I think it's very important for people with social anxiety to get this distinction. So what do I mean when I say being nice versus being kind? Well, as people with social anxiety, we tend to want to be people pleasers. We tend to want to be liked. So by doing that, and not in all cases, but a lot, we'll say less or we'll hold our opinion in or we'll hide so that we don't ruffle the feathers or quote unquote generate any conflict or disagreement. And that attitude, that approach, and that behavior set helps us stay small, helps us stay in, helps us stay shy. It's not very helpful, really. And no, don't blame it on being an introvert. That's not an excuse, my friends. Being an introvert has to do with how you recharge your energy, not whether you're shy or not. So don't give me that if you're thinking that. <laughs> I'm a serious introvert, and people get surprised that I am because I've learned how to be social. I didn't used to be this way at all. I'm a living example of an introvert who's become social. Anyways, back to the point is that when it comes to being nice, it's a facade. That's how I define it. It's a facade. I'm trying to make people like me or the image of me. And what ends up happening is people just kind of like don't think much of you. They put you in the limbo land instead of liking you or disliking you. The polarization thing. Polarization is good because you get to spend more quality time with people that like you and filter out the people that don't like you or you don't like, okay? This is something we have to get used to. So what is being kind then? Well, being kind is doing that which is right in your heart. It's not that which you're trying to project into an image so that you appear nice, a fake person on the outside, okay? And um, this isn't, obviously, this isn't uh, only unique to social anxiety. There are plenty of people out there that will want to look nice to get their way or manipulate maybe, and maybe they don't have social anxiety. But I think that being kind is much better than being nice. And let me give an example. So let's say that you have a... Uh, a good friend and you um, really care about them but then you're worried about how they view you and this friend is all screwed up on alcohol and drugs and they're they're putting their life down the toilet and you can see it and being nice is to go okay well I'm just gonna like you know let them do their thing and they're going through you know a hard time and this and I just won't say anything because I don't want th to lose them as a friend and that doesn't mean you're not going to be, you know, <clears throat> there for them and that you're going to um, not care for them. But you're, you're, you care more about how they look at you and losing their friendship than you care about actually helping them. So the kind thing is to call them out and say, look, I don't understand. What are you doing to your life? You're, you're, you're flushing it down the toilet. I don't agree with all that you're effing your life up here. And uh, I, I can't stand for it. You know, and speaking out, even though it's conflict creating and appears to be um, possibly rude or that it could hurt their feelings because they have to wake up to it. To me, that's the kinder action. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to dump them as a friend if they don't do what you say, but you're going to speak your mind because, and, and you're willing to take the chance that they might hate you for a while because they might be so in denial. So there's an example I wanted to give of what I say being nice versus being kind. Being kind has to do with your heart and expressing that regardless of how people will look at you. And being nice has to do with, it doesn't matter what's in your heart, you just want to look good. You just want people to like you. And people pick up on that. As human beings, we're very intuitive. They pick up on the on the on the nonverbal signals that something is off, that you're hedging your bets, that you're kind of hiding behind a facade, and um, 
in the end, it's not worth it. And if you've done it and if you've been doing that, that's okay. I've done it too. Sometimes I still do it and then I have to hit myself and wake up, you know, internally hit myself and go, hey, this is, uh, I need to be honest about this and I need to do um, the right thing, which is akin to being kind versus how I appear to others and, um, and appearing nice whether everybody likes me and all this, okay? So I hope that makes sense on being nice versus being kind. As always, you can leave comments below. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel above up here. <clears throat> and um, if you haven't yet, download the 10 Keys to Social Anxiety Recovery. It's a free ebook I wrote for you guys. It's a great ebook. It's a no BS ebook, all about um, all about how to help yourself uh, recover from social anxiety. So I hope to see you over on the blog and in the comments on the channel.